Hello, my name is David Waldrop. Uh, I'm the innovator of the Waldrop Pack Seat, and today uh, my purpose is to try to show you uh, some ways that you can enjoy your pack seat. Uh, but before I do that, uh, the very first thing I want to do is thank all the people that have, of course, purchased seats from me. But uh, also all the kind words and uh, statements that have been put out through uh, social outlets and whatnot, your text messages, your phone calls. Uh, everything has been uh, very uh, supportive and has helped me uh, uh, to carry on what I'm doing. Um, we're here uh, in the middle of my deer hunting woods. And uh, in fact, I'm standing in a blind that I hunted uh, in the evenings. Uh, we got kind of a funnel situation going here. Uh, but this is a place where uh, I use the seat with the rear leg. Um, the pack seat is used in two ways, uh, one with the rear leg and one with it leaning against a tree or a blow down such as this or anything you choose to lean the seat up against. But right now what I want to show you is uh, what I do uh, when I use the rear leg and we're going to talk about uh, the uh, pack frame part of it in just a minute. But, uh, of course, the seat's terribly light uh, and uh, easy to carry around. Okay, on the rear uh, is a strap that you can undo, and it serves two purposes. One is to hold the rear leg in the up position, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And the other reason uh, for the strap is you can strap your clothes to it, uh, heavy coats. Uh, if you're hunting a ghillie suit, uh, you can strap whatever you choose, even a blind. Um, now, uh, when, the, when the seat comes to you, uh, it's delivered uh, with the, uh, in the, I'm going to call it the rear leg mode. Uh, it'll have the strap hooked to the bottom leg. And it will look like this, okay? And then you have your seat that folds out. Okay, now, the biggest thing you need to know about the rear leg is that, uh, and we're gonna use this exact example, um, due to where the animals move through this area, uh, I, I just didn't find a suitable place to lean against anything. So. I use the rear leg. Now, the ground in the woods, of course, is rarely level. So in, in, in this situation, the ground is kind of high here. Uh, the front legs are a little bit lower. So all you do is just take this strap, and being that this is a little higher, I'm just going to loosen this strap, and it's going to let the rear leg come back further, which means it's raising it. And it's going to lean appropriately. Uh, and this leaning adjustment is the same thing that you would do when you're leaning against a tree or whatever you want to lean against. I want you to be sure to get the most comfortable angle. That's very important. Uh, the pack seat was developed for comfort and effectiveness. And if, if you adjust it properly, you, you will achieve both those goals. But with it like that, all you do is just sit down. And there you go. Uh, uh, you, a place like this, you, you're wanting to sit and, and uh, have your, if you're right-handed, uh, be able to uh, uh, shoot in a comfortable position uh, without getting into too much hunting stuff. Uh, when you're in a deadfall like this, uh, a, a lot of times I will lean against a deadfall. And if your head is sticking up above it, 
don't think you're totally hidden. If there's a chance, animals could move behind you. And I think on this particular blind, this is probably one of the pieces I used uh, because my head was sticking up. And you just put something up here so that you're able to turn your head uh, pretty much at will and nothing behind you will see you turn your head. Um, and one thing I would like to talk about right now since I have this rotten log right here is for you bow hunters, um, when you sit either in this position or the leaning against the tree position, uh, you want to make sure that any leaves, brush, rotten logs, whatever you have there are cleared out of the way so that your bottom limb does not hit that. And also along with that, in either way that you use the seat, uh, uh, I think you would be smart to, no matter how big a rush you're in, such as maybe going after a turkey and you need to sit down quickly, uh, just be sure that you scratch out a place and get all the noisy stuff out of the way. Um, it will pay off big dividends if you will go ahead and do that. So that, that pretty much covers uh, this way of using the seat. And, and again, the main purpose here is just to show the use of the rear leg. Um, now, we're going to move a few feet and go to a place where I'm going to lean the seat up, which is its most use is, is the leaning part because most people like to lean up against a big tree if it happens to be in the right place. So uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Thank you very much. <laughs> 